Hi everyone, welcome back to Miss Magda Reading Time. The story I have for you today is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. The title of this book tells us what the story is going to be about. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. What's going to happen to this caterpillar? Why is she so hungry, right? The author is Eric Carl. He's the one who wrote the words in the story. And he also is the illustrator. You see the front cover of this book? What animal you see? Yes, a caterpillar, right? And let's look in the back of the book. Wow, a giant leaf, sun, tiny caterpillar. And what's this here? What's this cir circle, white circle here? Let's find out. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Look at these beautiful colors, right? Very colorful. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Oh, the white circle is an egg. Look at this beautiful moon, so it's night time. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop. Out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. See the caterpillar? Wow, it's morning now. It's a nice sun. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That's a lot. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, poor little caterpillar. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Where the caterpillar going? Now he's on top of the tree. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. Wow, he grows so much. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, that's amazing, look. The end. Did you like the story? How the caterpillar from a tiny little egg became a beautiful butterfly? Yes, this is the life cycle of a butterfly. Egg, caterpillar, get big and strong, a cocoon, and then a butterfly. So which is your favorite part of the story? Did you like when the caterpillar was a tiny egg? Or did you like when she, he puffed out of the egg? That's one of my favorite. He puffed out. That's my favorite part. Or did you like when he started eating and eating and eating? Or when he ate, oh my, he ate delicious food, right? Wow, but he ate too much. Or did you like when he was a big, fat caterpillar? Or in the cocoon? Or one of everybody's favorite, right? 
when he became a butterfly. So beautiful. All right, guys, that's for now. I hope you come back again from this mind the reading time for another very exciting book. I see you another time. Bye bye.